I decided that I wanted to move my family to the West Coast from the East Coast. We had a house in outside of New York, and uh, it was a nice place, but uh, I, my family would not have benefited by staying there. My wife was from California to begin with, and she wanted to always to go back. And uh, I said, well, I guess it's time to go. And when time came, we did go to California. Uh, that enabled me, and I was under contract as an actor to MCA, to uh, Lou Wasserman and uh, Jennings Lang, people of that ilk, very, very important. And, and they pushed me into television. They thought that uh, that was the best medium for me. And uh, it turned out that it was very favorable because I, uh, I did this television series called Bachelor Father, and I worked very closely with the people who were the producer and director and all, uh, injecting myself and whatever ideas I had, if they were favorable, uh, into this series. And it ran for five years, and uh, it was a nice show. And fortunately, I owned uh, a good part of it, too, because that was part of the whole deal that Mr. Wasserman and Mr. Lang uh, insisted on. So when the time to stop Bachelor Father came about after five years, and I was involved in other things. Um, Mr. Wasserman very kindly arranged f to buy my half of uh, the series. So I had uh, an opportunity to, to broaden uh, what the whole aspect of the business that I was in as a budding young producer director and uh, as somebody who had made some money out of it as well. Describe that character for us. <laughs> what, what, who well, was Ben? Who Bentley was Bentley Gregg? Gregg? Bentley Gregg was made up, well, Jennings Lang was uh, the man at MCA who was assigned to it and we got to be friends and he, he knew everybody in Hollywood and everybody in Hollywood knew him. And uh, he was the one that was shot by Walter Wanger in the groin by Walter Wanger uh, because there was some kind of falter off going on between Joan Bennett, Wanger's wife, and, and so he, he, he knew everything about what was going on in town. Joan Bennett and Jennings Lang, who was uh, the, I guess the guy that really was responsible for, for uh, Bachelor Father, uh, they, they were having some kind of an affair. And uh, she was on the set all the time. And he was, uh, Wenger was a man who, uh, who didn't brook any foolishness. And it wasn't too long before he decided that what he had to do was shoot and kill Jennings Lang. <laughs> and he did, he shot him, didn't kill him, thank heavens. But uh, that, w that was the end of that, that experience. And that episode in, in, in Bachelor Father was all in the turmoil of the time. The character you played, Bentley Gregg, just, just who was he, though? What, what, what were you playing? There were two lawyers in town. One of them was Greg Boutzer, and Bentley Ryan was the other one. So Jennings Lang, with all his brilliance, decided to put together the two names. 
script Bentley. Bentley Gray. Bentley Gray. And what? To, and so is that? It was a private joke. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> if it was a joke, I'm not sure. Well, is is that character? What did that character do in the series? What was the series? The about? lawyer. He was a lawyer. Yeah. And uh, and didn't he have a special charge? He did. He had a little girl uh, who was his niece, and uh, and she became his ward uh, because. Um, I guess we never did get into how it happened that she came into his life, but uh, well, it I became had, a very important part of his life. Well, I had thought that uh, that uh, wasn't there a, a plot uh, line that went that uh, her parents were killed in a car wreck or something, and you and you sort of inherited her. That's that, right, as Bentley Gray. In, in uh, s similar circumstances, you had a couple of uh, uh, minor cast. Members. One of them was named Mary Tyler Moore, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was named Linda Evanstadt, <laughs> who I think we now know as Linda Evans. That's right. Uh, do you remember? Seriously, do you remember their their being on the show? Were they were they too quickly in and out <laughs> to remember? Well, I always made it a point because this guy Bentley Gregg and Greg Bouncer were two. Very guys heavily weighted down with romantic attachments in Hollywood at the time. They were the two swinging bachelors. And since I was a swinging bachelor with their name, um, I always wanted to make sure that the women involved on the show were beautiful and desirable and fun to have around, too. What a great idea. <laughs> yes. And, uh, it worked out just perfectly, and uh, uh, it was an element of the show that wasn't stressed too much, but was there. But the relationship between Sammy Tong, the little girl, and me was the, the key relationship. Everything else was just atmospheric. 